New at 10, it is girl power at the State Fair. For the last four years, the same two girls have won first and second place for their prize steers in the Governor's Blue Ribbon Auction. Rebecca Clough, herself a former 4-H'er, <laughs> is live at the State Fair finding out why these girls rule, huh, Rebecca? That's right, George and Carol. I am a 4 -ager, so I know just how hard all of them work all year to reach this level. And just because you're showing at the state fair doesn't mean you get to auction off your cattle unless you finish in one of the top spots. So it's pretty amazing. The two girls have been one and two for so long. When it comes to brushing and blowing, and basic beautifying, it's these big boys that get all the attention from the girls, and for good reason. This is my grand champion uh, market steer. Lauren May's steer, Drake, is grand champion this year. Last year, it was Tori Crisps. The two girls have been finishing one and two the last four years. The secret to their success is pretty simple. Work on them. And their parents say the girls do that and more. Basically giving up your summers. It's uh, morning, noon, and night. The girls say it's their sport. And when it comes to State Fair champion, there's nothing higher. It's kind of like the Olympics, you know. This is what you want when you're working all summer long on your animals. Winning doesn't just mean a ribbon. It means a chance to sell their steer at the governor's blue ribbon auction, with Governor Walker even helping to sell it. Lauren says she had a feeling Drake could win it all. Just like his attitude and his personality, but I just, the whole summer, I hope the judge thought he was just as special too. Drake went for $50,000 tonight, bought by the grocery store Meyer. But there is one thing that none of these 4-H'ers look forward to. That's saying goodbye to their animals. Still pretty hard. You could sell him for all the money in the world, and he'd still be hard to get rid of. Absolutely, and that $50,000 along with all of Lauren's other winnings are going to her college fund. And get this, Lauren and Tori still have a few more years in 4-H left, so they plan to be back here next year going head-to-head -head for first place again. Reporting live at the State Fair, Rebecca Clough, today's DMJ4. Well, they certainly have what it takes, Rebecca. Thank you very much. And State Fair runs through Sunday. Find everything you need to know at the Rockstar Summer page of our website, tmj4.com. Come.